Welcome to K9 Boxing, where I practice what I preach in the sport of boxing, in the boxing ring. And today, focus is on the uppercut. Yes, the uppercut. The uppercut is the equalizer, and I call it the game changer. Because if you hit someone with an uppercut, you can knock them out. The uppercut is a power punch. The overhand right is a power punch. The hook is a power punch. But the uppercut is a game changer. And I like throwing uppercuts when I'm close because when I'm close, I can maximize and get the right power. Some like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was known for the uppercut. He would hit you with the right hook to the body and uppercut right down the middle. So it's the right hook to the body, then the uppercut with the same hand. Mike Tyson was known for throwing that uppercut. It was a bolo shot. And when he hit you with that shot, it was night night. Another perfect example of throwing the perfect uppercut is when Jamal Charlo fought against Julian Williams. Julian Williams stepped in and got too close and Jamal Charlo timed him with the perfect uppercut. Yes, the perfect uppercut. Now when throwing the uppercut, I see a lot of fighters and I see a lot of trainers. They had a fighter throw the uppercuts just to be throwing it. If you throw it at the wrong distance, you can lose your life. Yes, you can lose your life. Kind of like what Buster Douglas almost did when he fought against Evander Holyfield. He threw up a cut from too far of a distance and got knocked out. Yes, he got knocked out because he threw the uppercut at the wrong distance. So you must throw the uppercut at the right distance. One of my favorite fighters, to me, who had the best uppercut other than myself, was Razor Ruddick. Razor Ruddick did not care. He would throw that uppercut out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Man, he hit Mike Tyson so hard with the uppercut that Mike Tyson said to himself that Razor Ruddick can hit like a mule kick. How was he punching? Was it hurting like you? Like a stutter, he punches like a mule kick. Unbelievable. Excuse my French, please. Oh my God. Yes, he said Razor Ruddick can hit like a mule kick. Yes, Razor Ruddick, to me, throws the uppercut better than anybody. Now, he can get away with throwing uppercut from anywhere because he, he has long arms, long hands. He's about six foot five, and he can get away with murder. And he has a great uppercut. Now, me, myself, and I, I have a great uppercut too. I didn't throw my uppercut a whole lot because it wasn't the perfect time to throw it. But when I did throw it, ask Corey Spinks how I felt. <laughs> It felt so good. Trust me. Remember that song? It feels good. Yeah, it felt good. So this is how you throw the uppercut. From anywhere, I just put that power on my front leg and I snatch it. I slip, snatch it. Or oh, I could do the Mike Tyson. Here, up the middle. You just touch him to the side and then come up the middle. Touch him to the side, come up the middle. Touch him just to get the arm down, make him focus on this shot right here. And bam, there we go. I'm gonna show you in a different di different angle, okay? The uppercut. See, we gotta bring it. There you go. You wanna actually make him put the head down so you can snap the head back up. See, I put his head down and I bring that head up. I remember hitting that guy one time. Oh my goodness! His head went up and then went straight to the moon. Now that's how you throw the uppercut at K9 Boxing. Share this video because these young people need to know when they throw the uppercut, you must throw it on the inside. Don't reach trying to throw the uppercut and don't throw it just to be throwing it because you might get your head knocked off. The uppercut is beautiful, kind of like my wife at K9 Boxing.